Let's have a group picture with the background of the church. Let's have a group picture with the background of okay. the mosque, blue mosque. And then I'll take you to the top of the palace. Let's, let's save some time. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine Sultan Ahmed, he was very young. Uh, the legend says that he said, build me a mosque out of gold. But the architect, he told him, how am I going to build a mosque out of gold? <coughs> uh, sorry, not the mosque. The, he said, the minaret. You see these towers? We call them minarets. He said, build me a mosque with golden minarets. With the gold. So he thought for a while and he decided to play a kind of game of uh, because the word in Turkish gold is altın if you just remove the last letter N altın means six when the Sultan came to inspect the, uh, the work he said what are you doing I told you to build with golden minarets you are building with six he said, oh my Sultan forgive me I misunderstood I'm building it with six minarets so that's how the construction uh, went on uh, 1609 they start, he start building a beautiful beautiful mosque around the mosque around the mosque there are other structures actually the sultan ahmed is buried in the tomb right there under that dome uh, ladies and gentlemen the mosque here in 1609 was built to compete with the church of santa sophia it was built at the beginning of the it took less than six years to finish the church. Okay, imagine 1500 years ago, such an organization, they built the church in such a big, sorry, such a quick time, very fast. Uh, the dome actually at the very beginning, the dome collapsed three times. They restored it and since then, imagine there were so many earthquakes. Lots of people died in the earthquakes, but this structure, there are many other ancient structures, they are still standing. So these things, they were good buildings, they were good engineers. So between these two buildings, there is 1,000 years difference, almost 1,000 years difference. This was built 1,000 years earlier than Sultan Ahmed Mosque. As I told you, it's about more than 90% under ventilation. Uh, later I'll give you some free time, so you would like to get a little further attention to take you from the other side, where the Hippodrome is, from the other side, which has a better view. You said six uh, towers? Six towers. And five. Yeah. 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 No, there are six. Three, four, four, The other one is the cliffs. The cliffs behind the other one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I told the British, British they, they already stole the other one. courtyard you see just above the gate uh, there were other structures which they were uh, it was a place for the soldiers also defending the wall the wall is surrounding the entire palace uh, 5,000 people roughly would live here and daily daily population would rise dramatically because all around the world 
uh, lots of people would come here to visit the palace for their business, of course, government all the time. That's why the kitchen was cooking for at least 5,000 people a day. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was thinking, we are not yet in the second courtyard, then the courtyard. Since 1453, uh, the Turks, after conquering Istanbul, they converted it into a mosque, which is the worship place for the Muslims. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Muslims all around the world, they pray towards Mecca, which is in Saudi Arabia. During the prayer, you see five times a day, you pray, but you always face towards Mecca. From Turkey, it is East, east, south, look. Churches, they are built from east to west. As you know. From west to east. So, uh, it was very easy to convert churches into mosques. Because it's all, all mosques, same direction. That's why once we enter into the mosque, you'll see what I mean, the church of Santa Sofia, nowadays, most of Santa Sofia. Uh, when you look to the eastern end of the church, you will see there is a niche which is pointing a little to the right, a little to the right, which is the direction to Mecca. Uh, actually, the church was built a little off east and west, so it helps. It really helped to build the niche, not very. Uh, off center, so it's almost the center. So that mistake actually served uh, in favor of the mosque or for the Muslims. So since 1453, but do you remember when it was built? It was built 532 after Christ. Let me tell you like this. Please come from the good past. Let me tell you like this. There was a church of Santa Sophia. Asia Minor, which is Turkey, for the Turkey, uh, Middle East. It was a big, big temple. Sorry, big empire, very big empire. So, to be able to show their citizens how big is the empire, they would bring some artifacts from Egypt, from Greece, so from Europe, different parts, and display them here in the capital, in this 
hippodrome. Then you see this obelisk is from Egypt. It is 16th century before Christ, 3,600 years old, roughly. You see what? Before Christ, yeah, 3,600 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, the obelisk is you are travelers, you, you know that in some different cities there are obelisks from Egypt as well. So it was a kind of a Sugar and uh, cream. And you? How many people are And you, please? Ah. Latte. Latte. Hey, Latte. Do you have hot chocolate? No, no. Here. Hot chocolate? Yeah, hot chocolate. Mine is not. <laughs> 